Here with head coach Lane Burroughs as the Demons get prepared to host UNO in a three game Southland Conference season series. Uh, coach, uh, always an interesting matchup from the coach's side when you go against a guy like Ron Maestri who has such a, a lengthy resume and really did some amazing things his first turn at UNO. No question. What a legend. Uh, always when you can coach against a guy like that. Um, I, I remember Coach Maestri, uh, he's done not only a lot for uh, UNO, but he's done a lot for college baseball and meant a lot to college baseball. So it's always good to, to see him, see him still going strong after all these years, coming into his uh, second stint at UNO and uh, a lot of respect there, obviously. Uh, just a tremendous ambassador for college baseball and all that he's done and won a whole bunch of games. Uh, had some really good clubs back in the day. and. Uh, uh, looking forward to seeing him. UNO, a lot better. They just keep getting better, and uh, they may, still in that transition phase. But uh, looking at their scores and, and some of the games they've played, it's obviously they're playing better baseball. They're right in every game. They got Randolph back, one of the best hitters in the league, in my opinion. And uh, last year, they took us right to the uh, brink. Um, we had three games that, that could have went either way at the, at the very end. And uh, it just so happened we came out on the good end of them for our sake. But a uh, lot, lot of respect for UNO. Uh, they're a lot better. Keep getting better. And Coach Maestri's doing an outstanding job. Seems like that was, like you talked about, three games that could have gone either way. It seemed like a lot of what happened to UNO last week in the East, a lot of games that came down to the wire. And a bounce here, a hit there, and it goes the other way. No question. I, they're very competitive. Uh, all you got to do is go back and look at the scores and the games they've played. They're in every game. Uh, they'll figure it out. And, uh, you know, we got to be ready to play. Uh, like I said, last year they came in here, I think it was uh, the last weekend of the year, right there at it, and uh, they didn't have a lot to play for, and they took us to the brink, and we had a pretty good club, and we're trying to win the league. It was uh, late in the year, and like I said, they could have swept us. It just so happened we got uh, the sweep in, and we had to do it late, and uh, very, very impressed with the way they played last year and uh, at the very end of the year when they really didn't have a lot to play for. You talked about Coach Maestri, he's been there a long time. Kind of a living Louisiana legend. Do you see yourself coaching at the age he is, or will you be in a deer stand oh, somewhere? Well, I hope I'm in a deer stand somewhere. That's 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 what I hope for. I tell uh, my wife, and I've even told some of our players, if I'm still coaching, you see me out there, just pick up a bat and wrap it around my head and, and uh, knock some sense into me. So you never know what's going to happen and what the good Lord has in store for you, but good gracious, uh, the energy it takes uh, this day and age, I tell you what, nothing but respect for him to still go out there and do it day in and day out. But, man, the live. I, I'd love to be a kickback somewhere on a lake and enjoying myself.